left. I lost my left leg and the other one was broken. Imagine what will happen if you lost your ability to work. Yeah, my name is Raja Manyeki. I'm a businessman and also I'm an amputee. Personally living with disability. I lost my legs on July 26, 2010 through a motorcycle accident. It is said that life is a gamble and anyone can get hurt, but it never occurred to Elijah that his passion for charity will bring this permanent mark in his life. Most of the activities I like going for 4 by 4s safari rallies, fishing, and uh, visiting children's homes. We do a lot of uh, charity events. So like last Christmas, we visited a children's home. So I like doing such. Uh, that day, we, uh, we were a team of over 40 bikers. I used that time I used to be the vice chairman of Outriders. So we were traveling to Narok to visit Orphan's home. July 26, 2010, at exactly 4 a.m. This is a day that Elijah Manyeki remembers vividly. So when we were coming back around 4, that's the time I got the accident. I lost my left leg and the other one was broken. I was overtaking a border border, then he made a uh, a U-turn when I was just passing him. I'm afraid, but we have to amputate your legs. These are words that will change Elijah's world forever. The, I crashed on a Sunday, so and they removed the leg on Thursday. So that's the time doctor told me that I will not be able to make it. I was in a lot of pain, so I had no option. So I told them to go ahead if that's the best way. And uh, we, went, we went on. Amputation is the removal of a limb by trauma, medical illness or surgery as a measure to control pain or a disease process in the affected limb. I was talking to the doctor, so he was telling me all what was going on. He tried to all the best to save my leg, but it reached to a point where it started turning blue. So that's the time I knew my leg and I had a lot of pain. So that's the time I knew he was he's supposed to do the amputation. Amputation is always a shock for the patients because of its abrupt nature, however. Yeah, I think from before I've been doing a lot of counseling, counseling people who have several difficulties in life, so it was not very hard for me when I knew I was losing the leg. I didn't do any psychology counseling because I, I think I trusted myself and I knew how to adjust immediately. The loss of part or all of a limb forever changes how we move, touch, and work, which is very difficult to cope with, for it's like a new birth, facing many physical, psychological, economic, and social problems. That time it was a bit difficult because I stayed in ICU for three weeks, later in the hospital, bed on another one month, so later I was on a wheelchair for almost one year because both of my legs, after, got, after I was amputated, the other leg also was broken, so I had uh, metal inside there. Every time you needed to do therapy every morning, we had to get someone to come to the house, because my insurance, I think it, uh, it was too expensive around that time, so we had to look for someone who was a bit cheaper, so that uh, he did the therapy for almost three months. Then from there I did another surgery, so it's an ongoing thing, so it's, but you know, it's, hospitals in Kenya are not very cheap, so every time you have to move us, the way things are, prosthesis legs are very expensive to get one here, so uh, we tried, I'm trying to get another one from India, so maybe very soon I might be having one, so I'm just waiting for my leg to heal nicely then, so that I can get another one. I think most of the challenges I can say, maybe when you're crossing the road, maybe downtown, sometimes it's very difficult because buses, they drive very fast. Motorists, 
other motorists they don't care so sometimes you have to take care of yourself because it's too dangerous. Most of the places they, they don't reserve the parkings which is a government requirement so so every time you find even in downtown you find the people who park in the person with the disability parking they are not disabled. It was a bit hard because sometimes when you Imagine now you can't learn. I used to like learning uh, like uh, but the, the, the hundred meters boys. I used to learn very fast. So from there, I can't do it anymore. So everything changes and you adjust accordingly. What I can always recommend is uh, I think the government should come up with uh, models of helping persons with disability in town. Because I know these guys are able, they can do so many business, they are able to do everything, but they don't have the actual support from the, the government. So that's why you see we have so many persons with disability on the street trying to beg, but these guys, if they are supported, they can do a lot of businesses. A life-changing experience, but as it is said, an ideal man bears the accidents of life with dignity and grace, making the best of circumstances. When you're in this world, you have to be prepared. Anything can happen. So, like most of the time, doctors call me to the hospitals. I talk to those people who are who need some help, like they are going to be amputated or who have been amputated. So I always talk to them and I tell, advise them, this is something small. You know, you just move on and take care of your life. What people should know is when something happens, don't go back. Don't slow yourself. So. I always kept myself busy with everything which is happening around me. Biashara, you know, I've been very active with everything I'm doing. For him, he only lost his leg, but not his will to live. Don't give up in life because, uh, you know, life is, is the way you treat it. If you give up, you'll, not, you'll never not go anywhere. So, yeah, so like... It's like the way we go sometimes for swimming. You find some people are swimming very fast, but me, I swim slow, so don't give up. So you just keep moving.